everybody? I thought this was just like a chit chat. Oh, what do we got all this stuff up here for? Uh, in terms of talking to Steve, who was gracious enough to come out and see me in person. Um, couple of hours of uh, you know talking hockey and and uh, talking about the Oilers obviously and and my participation up to this point in time and and uh, you know where the team is where it's going uh, you know my reaction obviously to not coming back was one of uh, real disappointment uh, to say the least um, you know when you're sort of at the front end of a building process you don't like to be the guy that's leaving before you even get to the middle and uh, the fact of the matter is I think that's where we are and um, you know, there's been a great deal um, suggested along the way here. I can tell you right now that um, that's 50 bucks. Um, that you know, the Oiler organization and, and Tammy coming out to see me was uh, nothing less than what I expected in terms of being very gracious and honest and open and and um, you know, real caring about the situation under the circumstances. Anyone else would, in my circumstance, you want to you want to keep coaching. You know, you want to do what you can in this game to to help an organization be a champion and help the athletes that they have experience something special. And, and with that being said, um, you know, the task as I was asked to do will remain with me. And if, um, you know, anyone in the organization chooses to share, share that, then that's so it. I, I guess if you want to call it fired, fair enough. Uh, I wasn't renewed, I know that much. Um, this is part of the transition through the through the process, I'm, I'm thinking, in terms of becoming a champion. Um, it's just very disappointing not to be here to continue to execute that plan. Um, you know, want to be a part of supporting people, you know, do what they need to do to make it happen. Um, you know, and, and that's where this is. Uh, you know, obviously anybody would be disappointed. Um, but I'm not here to throw daggers. I'm here to, 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 uh, to support this organization uh, all the way to its Stanley Cup. You know, and if that's from a distance and having been a former coach, uh, you know, I, I'm good with that too. Uh, oh. as, a, as they say, clear conscience is a soft pillow. I think this team, uh, as I mentioned to Steve, I think, I think the ball's on the tee now. And, um, you know, with, uh, with the exception of some adjustments here and there, maybe an acquisition here or there, I think someone's ready to, to knock it out of the park. I mean, we were one or two injuries away every night from maybe not being competitive enough. Um, you know, but that also is part of this process. And, and uh, you know, I know uh, ownership and management are working hard on trying to shore up you know that that part of our of our business, and you know Oklahoma City's had a terrific year. Um, you know, let's hope it continues. Uh, we've got some great young players playing amateur hockey that will play for the Oilers and bring it along even further, and that's all good stuff. In the meantime, you know you're at the front end of this turnaround, this rebuild, and uh, it's never going to happen quick enough for anybody, and that's why this type of steady hand, I think, you know, is was and will continue to be. I think. Uh, important and um, you know all that being said it's up to the next guy I've led a good life and uh, and have a lot of um, you know great uh, experiences because of hockey you know my, my wife and family are healthy and happy uh, and enjoy their days more often than not because of hockey um, you know the Edmonton Oilers have contributed to that uh, they gave me an opportunity to do what I love to do they gave me an opportunity to you know to, to work with a with a great young team and veteran guys that absolutely care deeply about where this team's going. Um, you know, so, so that's important for, for the general public out there to know that. And whether or not the next guy feels compelled to say that, I, I believe in my heart he'll think that at the very least. So it's all been good. Uh, it has been dis dif disappointing. It's been difficult. It's been all of those things because no one likes to leave a job when they think they're just getting to the good part. Um, you know, and, and, and I'm no different. But I also know what I've got because of the game of hockey, and I know what I've got because of the Oilers. I think there's huge intellectual capital in this organization that will help move it forward to the championship people are looking for. And that starts at the top with its ownership and through management. And I think the people skills of the next coaching staff will be exactly what they need. I think the players will continue to work hard. And, you know, patience sometimes is a bunch of BS. I understand that, but it's real. And you've got to have that, and you've got to continue to support this team, and this is to the fans. You know, support your Oilers, as you always have, and continue to do that, because there's nothing better than playing in front of people who care, who are passionate, who are willing to jump up and scream and holler whether they like something or not, and that's okay. Um, but be real happy with the fact you still have a team here. Uh, you've got an owner that wants badly to build a new arena uh, for you to come in here and watch great hockey, and that'll happen. And, uh, you know, just be happy with the fact that you weren't, you know, the Winnipeg Jets of a number of years ago watching their team's taillights leave this town. Be happy with the fact you got a team. You know, these guys, they're, they're good, respectable men. They, they love playing for this team. Um, I would say it loud and clear that this is a great place to come and play. Uh, the players that remain here are good men that want badly to win. Uh, bad enough where I've never had to say to myself, I don't think they care. 
uh, I can tell you to a man, they all did. And, uh, and no one more so than myself and certainly the coaching staff who are exemplary, I think. You know, and I am, very much so. I, I, I look forward to the next opportunity uh, you know, to, to take a team into the playoffs and, and uh, do some special things there because I think I'm completely capable of it based on experiences such as this. This is unique. You know, there, there, there's a number of coaches right now I would think to think, okay, now I'd like that Edmonton Oilers job. So you must have heard from lots of other coaches, have you? I have. I've had uh, hundreds of phone calls and, email, and emails. I, it's just been overwhelming, and I appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's nice that people reach out. Okay, th thanks a lot, everybody. It's, it's, it's a problem. Thanks, man.